This is an HP News Network special report. YouTubers and anti-nuke activists, welcome to a very brief special report. This is your host, Patrick Penry. Let's look at NUREG 2157. Okay, this is a uh, manual or a study that the NRC has done. It's titled Waste Confidence Generic Environmental Impact Statement. And this is one that goes hand in hand with a series of public meetings they're having around the country where you can give your input on this particular manual or their rules in general having to do with spent fuel pool. And I'll give a link to that on the NRC website. You can look into that, find the dates, places of the meetings, and show up and give your input. Or you can write your input, you can email, you can uh, teleconference call in. Okay, we're looking at NUREG 2157. And here's a good one. This is a good one that you can use at one of these meetings. In that particular manual, NUREG 2157, if we look in the back, we see that they discuss the spent fuel pool structures. And here's what they say, and I'm quoting out of NUREG 2157, quote, as discussed in Appendix F, numerous NRC studies have concluded that spent fuel pool structures are seismically robust and can withstand loads substantially beyond those for which they are designed. Parentheses NRC 2001. Okay, now let's look at a screen capture directly from the NRC FOIA documents. And this is Gary Holohan responding to Marty Virgilio, who has written a letter and that's mentioning President Obama calling for a review of the domestic fleet, a comprehensive review. This is following the March 11 earthquake, March 18th. Obama's now called for a comprehensive review. And in response to that, Gary Holohan says to Marty Virgilio, I think this is right on target. In addition, for the long-term look, we likely will need to revisit the issue of non-seismically qualified spent fuel pools, of which I recall there are many. I alerted Eric to the non-seismic spent fuel pool fact yesterday. Okay, did you get that? Non-seismically qualified spent fuel pools here in the U.S., of which Gary Holohan recalls there are many. Well, who is Gary Holohan? I mean, who is this guy? Well, he's the deputy director of the Office of New Reactors since the creation of the office in October 2006. So it's not just a Joe Schmo. And if you look at this particular email, a couple of emails here, I found nothing in response from Marty Virgilio to say, you know, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? Non-qualified, seismic qualified spent fuel pools? We don't have any of those. Uh, what are you talking about? Have you lost your mind? Have you been drinking? You're on drugs? Do we need to drug test you? There's no response like that. So this seems to be, we can infer from that, that this is likely common knowledge amongst some of the NRC employees, at least on this kind of higher level here anyway. So that's a, a bit of hypocrisy and direct contradiction where on the one hand they say that the spent fuel pool structures are seismically robust, Behind the scenes in these documents, you see the deputy director of new reactors says, we will likely need to revisit the issue of non-seismically qualified spent fuel pools, of which I recall there are many. Okay, folks, that's it. Thanks for joining me for this very short HP News Network special report. This is your host, Patrick Penry. Have a great day. Over and out. This has been an HP News Network special we need to get subscribed and get this unity stronger and beat YouTube at their own game. Okay, that's what this is about. Like I say, go to the Remix button, hit the Remix button. That way you'll have this video and, and keep up with this. Otherwise, you know, YouTube's just going to control us, guys, and it's, it's really bad.